simply put the breast density notification bill it requires radiologists to inform patients if they have category three or four dense breast tissue the denser the tissue the harder it is for a tumor to be recognized you can see there's that white spot on a breast tissue that is less dense and it shows up fairly well can you imagine trying to find that little white spot in a highly dense tissue example that's on the side over there. Options could be a 3D mammogram, an ultrasound, or an MRI. All can do a better job of detecting tumors in dense tissue. Also though, dense tissue in and of itself is a higher risk category for breast cancer. 12% of women will get breast cancer. I am a survivor. Uh, Representative Falskowski is a survivor and Gail and and our survivors. Breast cancer is the most common cancer among U.S. women. It's the second uh, most leading cause of death. Heart disease is the first. So I think this puts the uh, woman in the driver's seat. I followed all the recommended preventative screening protocols. I had a mammogram every year at the same time and then six months later I would follow up with a regular gynecological exam. What was never mentioned to me in all of this time was that I had dense breasts which it turns out masked my nearly four centimeter tumor. I was diagnosed with breast cancer my first time at age 40 and I did not have to do chemo or radiation but I ended up with a double mastectomy. I had a double mastectomy and at 50 was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. Wrap your head around that. I just, I just thank God every day for the plane ride that put me in so much pain I ended up in the emergency room that that's how we found out I had a seven centimeter tumor.